Sam here from Sheridan Computers. Uh, I'm writing an open source ticket system called Cassilium and a few people have asked me where it's up to. And I feel the easiest way to explain is to do a quick demo of um, its features and where we're up to. So this is also a good time for me to give a quick plug. If you're looking for any um, bespoke website development or anything like that, we're obviously capable of doing that. Head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk, click on the Hire Us button, leave some details on what you're looking for and I will get back to you. So um, let's head over to Cassilium. Okay, so I'm gonna start from scratch, from scratch. So I'm just gonna drop the database so we can see us do this from scratch. Um, God, cat's tight today. Okay, so uh, where are we? So let's recreate the database. So this should be quite a simple process. We're using doctrine migration, so the database is quite easy to uh, update and edit. So, meh, on bottom. Go ahead and create the database. So as you can see, the database has quite a lot of tables in it. So there's quite a bit of effort going into this. Um, right, so the first thing to do would be to log in. Um, once we're logged in, we can have a look at, uh, we've got to admin settings, we can enable MFA for ourselves, uh, change our password, so that works from there. From there. Uh, under users, we can go into user manager, um, we can create new users. We can see we've already got a user set up, this is a default user, um, whether it's active or not, so we can edit that. Um, you can also disable MFA if you need to reset somebody for some reason. Uh, we can look at the user, see some brief details, uh, Again, edit the user from there. Uh, what else we got? Um, role manager. So we can set the roles from here. If you look at this role, for example, and you can see what permissions we've got. Um, so you can edit the permissions. Uh, you can edit the role. Let's go to administration, under users, permissions. So we can create permissions here. If we have a look at this, we can uh, see we've got a permission name and description. So it's completely um, using role-based access control for the um, user authorization. So we're going to be able to create users that can only like view tickets, for example, and can't create them. Um, right, let's um, go ahead and create an organization. So I'll try to do this ticket system a little bit different to the other ones. Um, most you can just jump in and start creating tickets on this one it's a little bit more structured or i'm trying to do it that way if i'm doing it right so if we do um new organization let's uh, create it and then we put the uh, organization domain names in there um these will allow us to if we want users to be able to create tickets without them registering the system um, from the domain name, it'll know which company they belong to. So let's go ahead and create that. So we've created the organization. We've got the edit organization functi functionality. Uh, let's go back to the organization, go into Sheridan Computers. So sites, let's create a new site. Um, head office, I'll go and fill the address in real quick. Postcode, telephone number. So now we've created the site. If we go into there, we can see our sites that we've created. Um, click on the telephone number, tries to dial it. If you go into head office, uh, and we can pull like Google Maps up of where it is. Not sure why I've done that at this stage. It's still under testing. Um, so we've created an organization and we've created a site for our organization. So the next thing we need to do is create a contact within our organization. So we'll do new contact. Uh, I'll just go and fill this out real quick from remembered information. Uh, so we'll create our contact. 
So go to contacts. You can see I exist as a contact now. Um, so we don't have an SLA. Now you don't need to have an SLA, but you won't be able to create incident, incident style tickets. You'll only be able to create service requests. Um, so before we can assign an SLA, let's go ahead and create one. So before we create an SLA, we need to specify business hours for that SLA. So standard working hours is fine. And then you can specify your working hours, whether you work Saturdays or not. It's up to you. So now we've got our working hours. Uh, we can go and create a service level, service level agreement. So we're doing new SLA. Um, give it a name, so standard SLA. And it's based off our standard working hours. Um, now this is where this comes into play. So if you've used any ticket system, you'll be familiar with uh, how SLAs work. So uh, critical priority, we want to respond within one hour, resolve within two hours, uh, urgent priority, uh, again, we'll respond within one hour, but we'll solve this within four hours. Uh, for high priority, I'm gonna put two hour response and then uh, yeah, put um, eight hour for resolution time. And then for medium priority, I am going to put two hour response again. Uh, but this is 16 hours. Then for a low priority, I'm going to put four hour response time. And then, uh, I don't know, 16 hours for the resolution time. So once we've done that, we can go ahead, create that. And clicking on the SLA shows us the information on where we're up to. Um, this is completely mobile friendly, by the way, because it uses Bootstrap. So at this stage, the only other thing we need to do, well, we don't need to do that, but it's um, a good idea to do that. If I go into queues, um, list queues, we've got a default queue here. Uh, now I'm just going to do this to show that it does actually work. So if I fill these, if you uh, Want it to, you don't have to have it to retrieve from email, but you can if you want. If we go into, uh, so I've created my, uh, just updated the queue to put the password in, um, just to show how it works. Right, so the most important part is we need to be able to create tickets. And now we've got our organization, we've got our sites, we've got a contact, uh, we've got our SLA. In fact, I've not assigned the SLA. So there's no SLA assigned, so I'll go ahead and assign it. So now we have our SLA assigned. Um, so if we go and create a new ticket, I do my first ticket. Choose a ticket source. Um, foam. Uh, you select your site. If there's only one site, it'll automatically select it for you. Your queue. Just got to select your queue again. If there's only one queue, it'll automatically select it. Whether it's a service request, if it's a service request. You can choose your own date. Um, now, incident ties to the SLA. So you'll notice as I selected incident, it automatically filled this in. Uh, and this field will populate depending on whatever you set here. So I put two hours resolution time. Uh, obviously, I'm out of hours. It's a Saturday at the moment, but I've logged it down, and it's due at 11 o'clock on Monday um, because it, from the working hours, it's managed to work out that yeah, there's nobody in till Monday, and it only covers working hours. Um, this here, you can see the priority change. You can't edit that. It's just a, a visual reference. So we can go ahead, create that. Um, my first issue. So we've created the ticket, and it's here. So I'm going to go ahead and create another ticket for that organisation. Uh, new ticket, my second ticket. Choose the source, uh, whether it's an incident, whatever it is. Um, this is another ticket. And I have received an email. Um, I can't pull my emails up from here because, in fact, let me uh, pop this out. Um, 
Yeah, no, so it's basically logged the ticket. Um, I've got the email notification about it. If we go into tickets, uh, you can see we've got a critical one and uh, the low one. Now, if I just respond to this, uh, this is an email response. Send. So this has to have a cron job set up for it. Um, where are we? So if I do, uh, where is it? Bin uh, console, can't remember what the ones are. Ticket create from email. Now this is what you'd have in a cron job to automatically check for tickets. Um, uh, yeah, I keep spelling that wrong for some reason. Um, Which ticket number was that? Is it this one? Yes, it was this one. So this is an email response. Um, so you can see we're fully working with um, retrieving emails from people. I uh, should be able to create a new ticket as well. Uh, so if I do new message. Uh, I'm gonna call this ticket. Three. So if I refresh the tickets, you can see ticket number three, uh, which was created from an email. So we've got that working completely. Um, that's about where I'm up to with it at the moment. Uh, responses, we can uh, add a new response to that email. So ticket response. I put it on hold. Now as you can see it uh, status has gone to hold. Um, this is showing critical up here. Now if I resolve this case, uh, you save and resolve. Uh, and you'll notice it's dropped to the bottom of the list. Um, so it's showing cases as the priority specified here. So if I do a new ticket, um, Ticket four, 45 even. So I'll do ticket four and set this to medium. Um, give it a response. Hello world. Needs to set a source. Um, back to tickets and you can see that it's, that's come to the top of the list. Uh, my email keeps going, um, saying that I'm Receiving emails, uh, if I pop this out so you can see the email I've got. Um, so support case open. So there's the um, open ticket notification that I got. Uh, um, that one indicating ticket has been resolved. Uh, and again, another support goes open. That's pretty much where I'm up to with the whole system at the moment. Um, there has been quite a uh, lot of code going into this. Um, so, running it. <laughs> Running it in the um, source directory, it's showing it's over 20,000 lines of code to get it to this stage. Um, and if I do it here, it'll go even worse. Um, 195,000 lines of code, including vendor libraries. Um, I just kind of wanted to go through it and show where I was up to with it. Um, it is coming to a stage now where uh, I need to do some testing with it, and I'm going to get my guys to do that. So if you're interested in an open source ticket system, um, keep your eyes on this because it's definitely one to watch out for. And I'd be interested in anybody's feedback if they have anything.